Nobody's really helping. For more than a month, Colleen McManus says she's been stuck here with no way to get downstairs. She says this sign has been on the elevator for weeks. McManus has poor balance, is blind in one eye, and has sciatica. Twice, she's had to cancel physical therapy. I've had to cancel three different specialist doctor appointments twice because of the elevator. But the worst part isn't the physical problems. It's the emotional. Depressing. You know, I'm bored. <laughs> but it's turned into depression. This woman brings groceries to McManus and sits with her four days a week. But when she's not there, McManus can't take her service dog, George, outside to use the bathroom. Yeah, he, he hasn't been doing well. Instead, she's put down pee pads. McManus has reached out to numerous agencies for help, like Adult Protective Services, a social service worker. Housing Rights and Resources Program, Fair Housing of Oregon, Fair Housing Council of Oregon. No one called her back. A couple of days ago, McManus says her air conditioner in her living room went out just before temperatures neared 100 degrees. She's not the only one suffering. There was a lady just outside here. She had slipped and fallen on her knee. That lady, Marilyn Vandehe, moved in in March. A big factor was the elevator in her building. And I just turned 76. Recently, she fell on her way back from the store with her arms full. I was trying to get groceries and I was using, I had a sack in both hands, and since I'm not that stable on stairs, I can walk a, a straight line, but stairs is something that my body just does not do. Her body doesn't do because she has epilepsy in a back brace. Vandehe's also had brain bleeds, and her doctor is worried these stairs could lead to more than just another stumble. One more fall, especially if it was ahead, my head, it could be the last one, I was told. We tried to speak with management, but they refused to talk to us. Later, I called their corporate offices, Pedcor Living. Hi, my name is Thomas Schultz, and I'm a reporter with KGW in Portland. I'm calling As I stood in the parking lot, this man came up to me. Hey, I was told to ask you to please leave. Leave the property? Pedcor never responded to my interview request. But a representative with TK Elevator, who operates elevator services, says repairs are in progress. He would not say how long repairs would take, but said all the steps needed to take place are taking place. On Clackamas County's website, it says Rosewood Station offers 212 affordable housing units. I called and emailed the Housing Authority of Clackamas County, but they never responded.